Yo, what's poppin' people? Cobra Star Green back with you guys in the building. Look, you guys first time finding my channel or anything like that for your boy. Hit that subscribe button. Also, like this video. Yes, today I will be doing my review on the new Travis Scott tour that just came out. Circus Mac Maximus, I think that's how you say it. Correct me if I'm wrong. But I'll be doing my review on that tour. There was some good, but there was also some bad, y'all. This, this was not a perfect stop. Let me give you guys my review on it. But I'll be right to this. Cue the intro. So if you guys know me, you guys know I've been to a whole lot of tours. Chris Brown, Bruno Mars, Jay-Z, Beyonce, Drake. I'm going to go see Drake again with Drake and J. Cole. Uh, Travis Scott. I've seen Travis Scott a couple times. Uh, who else? A bunch of people. A bunch of people. You know what I'm saying? And uh, this one had me feeling some type of way. And I'm, I'm going to give you guys the good. I'm going to give you guys the bad. So pretty much, honestly, one of the best parts about the tour entire things was the tickets for this show were actually surprisingly cheap. You know what I'm saying? I got the tickets the day of the concert. And me and my friends went. And I ended up buying, like, the three tickets. And three tickets together were, like, close to 200 bucks. That's it. So it was, like, 40 bucks a ticket. You know what I'm saying? So just to show you guys where we were at uh, in the 40 bucks a ticket thing, we were, like, right. We were, like, we were in the section 100s for 40 bucks, which ain't bad. But it was kind of, like, right here. That's where we're at. This is our view of the stage right there. Um, now... When we got there, we got some, like, exclusive section. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, okay, this ain't bad for no $40. So we get there, we get to our seat, we get our food, and, and we sit down. And as we're sitting down, usually when you go see a, a a concert or whatnot, there's usually there's music playing while there's no artists or nobody out on the stage. This one was a little bit different. For Travis Scott show, you sitting here listening to crickets for, like, 30 minutes, y'all. It's something like this. You hear that? So that's one thing I'm not going to lie, I did not like. Because I'm like, look, if we're sitting here for like, like I said, 30 minutes or 20 minutes or whatever it is, usually there's some music to be played, so we're kind of feeling it. But like, for this whole entire time, nah, we were just sitting here just like looking stupid. <laughs> I was like, man, maybe I should go run out and go use a restroom or something like that. Because it was just straight up crickets. Now, I understand the crickets. Crickets are, 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 it's kind of, it gives you like a jungle feel. You know what I'm saying? Look at look at the stage. That's the feel of it. Um, but I, I thought personally they could have added some music to it just a little bit. Because I'm like, damn, we all just kind of just sitting here. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, every concert I've been to beforehand, music has always been playing. I guess Travis is a little bit different. That's just his, that's just his, uh, 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 that's, 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 that's just what he wants. You know what I'm saying? So that's just one thing I thought. You guys see this concert's also in the background too. But... That's how we started. That's how the concert started with just the crickets. And even after the first performer showed up and he left, then or the opener showed up, then it was even more crickets after that. So if you guys didn't know, this guy named Tizo Touchdown, I think. I thought his name was Tenzo Touchdown, but it's Tizo Touchdown. I actually like a lot of his music. The first time I heard him was on the Drake album uh, for, for All the Dogs. And he had like one of the best songs on the album was his. Uh, and he's the one that opened... For Travis. Now, I thought this dude was like my age. This dude was like 31 or 32. I was like, he does not look, he looks literally my age. So, this was uh, some of his stuff right here. You know what I'm saying? So, he he was cool. I like Tito Touchdown. And you know what the thing I like about Tito Touchdown is his music is kind of all over the place. You know what I'm saying? It's not just hip hop. It's like rock and roll. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of it's not just one genre. He has he spread out when it comes to his music. So I kind of liked him. Now, I I don't I don't know about an opener, but like he he works. You know what I'm saying? I, I actually I, he's a good person. He, I like him. You know what I'm saying? I like him. Now, whenever like I said he left, when he he left on stage, then you guys see, we was back to the goddamn yeah. crickets for 20 more minutes. Jeez. Now, look, I went on, Stop. this was the Austin <laughs> night, uh, night two. This is the one I went to, was the was the Austin night two. And I don't know what had happened or whatnot, but the show started a little bit early for us. Now, I'm not complaining because of the fact that, that we were listening to crickets for an hour, um, but... 
Usually, people were saying online that it doesn't start as early as it started for us. So, for us, it started around 10.25 or 9.25. I thought it was like 9.15, but 9.25 is when it started. Travis was on stage for about an hour, and then he left. Usually, if you look at any other clips out there uh, of the full show, because there's full show clips everywhere. If you look at them, Travis is on stage for like an hour 20 hour 15 even hour and 30 you know what i'm saying he, he's always over an hour but for us he was straight up like an hour like dead ass i remember when he got off the stage looked at my phone and i was like damn what's only 10 25 <laughs> i was like wow that wasn't that wasn't long at all you know what i'm saying and yes i did hear that he did cut some songs you know what i'm saying he i think he cut like the special song the day the night before uh he had cut some other stuff and then he had cut something right here he said he had two fans ride the parasol, and I'll show you guys a clip of that later, uh, instead of seven to eight people the day before. I was like, wow, eight people were supposed to ride that thing, we, but we only had two? I was like, all right. But my review of it when Travis was up there was that, like, he was just trying to get through it. You know what I'm saying? Like, there were songs that he would play, and, like, he would kind of cut it midway, but the pyro would still kind of be going on. So I'm like, oh, it's supposed to still be going on. He's just cutting it short, and he's just going on to the next song. So I was thinking, at the end of the day, I was like, maybe it's just because it was Thanksgiving the next day, and he was trying to get the heck out of Austin. You know what I'm saying? That That's what I had originally thought. I, I mean, I don't know if I could be wrong. I could not be wrong. Um, as you guys see, here's a set list for the, the night I went to. Um... As you see, there's like there's a lot of songs missing here. Like this is like a short set list if you guys can see that. There's usually way more songs here. Like he didn't perform highest in the room. Uh no antidote. Um, no lose. There's some other songs that say he didn't uh drugs used to try, he didn't perform here. Um and there was something else he didn't perform also, but yeah, like see that was our set list. And yeah, I just was felt like, damn, this is going through really quickly. And like I said, maybe it's just because of the fact that he just wanted to get back home. Cause I think he lives in LA or something like that. So he just probably wanted to get back home to go see his family. I mean, I get it. I get it. But I ain't gonna lie, this going this shows me I ain't never going to another concert again. If the Thanksgiving's the, Thanksgiving the next day <laughs> or Christmas the next day, I ain't never do that again. But I did have fun though. I'm gonna say that I did have a lot of fun during the concert. But here's somebody else right here, Mark that also went there. Said night two felt so rushed compared to night two in Dallas. Uh, but I still had a lot of fun. You know what I'm saying? Travis Scott never misses. But like I, like I said, I felt like it was rushed. I felt like he was moving through quickly. But I did have fun. Now, I'm going to show you guys my clips. Uh, I, I've seen Travis one time before, and it was when he was not even this big. He was opening up for Kendrick Lamar uh, for the damn tour. And that was years ago. You know what I'm saying? That's the first time I actually saw Travis Scott. And, uh... He's still, he's still good, man. He's still, he still got it. The thing about Travis, man, is that he brings a lot of energy to his shows. And it was funny because I had brought my godfather with me too. And like, he just kind of looked out of place. Like everybody there was like my age and like younger, like 25 to like 18, 19, probably even younger than that. You know what I'm saying? Um, and he was like, you know, so he's, he's older than all of us. So he just kind of looked like he was out. He kind of felt like he was out of place. But man, when I'll tell y'all what Travis, man, Travis... Travis brings it, man. I'll say that with the energy Travis provides for his shows, he brings it. Here's my clip right here. So I can, I really got a good a good shot of Travis. That's not that's not bad. But as you guys see, like I said, Travis brings a whole lot of energy to it. So that's how you can see the, the full stage right there. That's how you can really see how far I was uh, from the stage. And like I said, those are decent tickets for $40 a piece. You know what I'm saying? $40 and you add the fees. You know what I'm saying? So it comes up to like $65 or something, a ticket or something. Um... But, yeah, man, I had a whole bunch of fun, man. There was a point where, like, there, there's a parasail, or whatever y'all call it, man. He was, he had selected a couple fans to ride it. And I was like, wow, this is actually, this is actually really cool. Like, I have a, a I have a clip of it right here. And even, like, the, the LED screens look cool with it. There's my clip right here. I'm like, wow, that, that he invested money into this looks dope. Like this, pr the, the the presentation he has on the screen, the presentation he has for the for the shows, are actually well done. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't, I don't. My per my thing is like my biggest thing was like how the stage is kind of positioned because it's like a long stage. So there's gonna be some spots where there's gonna be some where you're not gonna be able to see him much. You know what I'm saying? Like if you're on the two sides, then those aren't the best spots because he doesn't really go to those sides too much. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like. 
like the uh, wherever wherever we were at. You know what I'm saying? Like this section. I'll tell you guys, kind of like where we were at. Like these that side, and then the side we were at. Like this long, these long ways. I feel like are the best spots, not these sides, because you can't really see too much. Um, but I'm, I ain't gonna lie, I dig the stage. I liked it. You know what I'm saying? I just feel like for everybody, it's not gonna be the best spots. But that's for every concert. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I did like that little parasol thing. That was cool. You know what I'm saying? I, I, with Travis, is a whole lot of uh, fireworks. Pyro, man. I remember when he was playing uh, his song, uh, what was it called? Fiend, man. He played this song called Fiend, and people lost their minds, man. That's why I was having so much fun. He performed Fiend. He performed uh, No Bystanders, man. I was, I was losing my mind during No Bystanders. So let me, uh, let me kind of show you guys a clip that I took of No Bystanders right here. So here we go. Here we go. Right here. So I'm like, bro, that's actually, that's really actually dope. You know what I'm saying? That, like, he can really energize a crowd like that. Like, you guys see right here. Everybody is losing their minds. And I, this is my favorite song of the night with No Bias Standards, man. Because this was, I think that was the first song everybody really started losing their minds off of. And this was like, th and I was like, this is why I actually want to be here. Because I want to have fun. You go to Travis Scott's show, you going to have fun. You know what I'm saying? He, he is... One of the best at uh at energizing at energizing crowds. I feel like I gotta give Travis his props where where it's due. Like I said, I think he's one of I think he's one of my uh uh to see to go to a concert and be like, look, I want an artist that's gonna give they all bring it. You go to a Travis Scott show, man. He's gonna do that. Now the reason why I even wanted to go to the show in the first place was because of this song right here. I know, I love that song. I like to way before, before, bro. I love that song. Uh, man, that's the only reason I went to the show because of that song right there. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. So I was, I was happy when he performed this. Cause like I said, that's my favorite song off the off the new album. I just came out. Um, but yeah, he performed a lot of a lot of his hits. Um, I, I wish he'd perform Antidote because Antidote's one of my favorite Travis Scott songs of all time. So I wish he'd have performed that one, but he ended up skipping over it, um, not doing it. Um, like I said, the, the, the show was only about an hour. And usually, that's not normal. Like, every other show, like I said, I've been to, you, you, you crack an hour 30. You, it's usually about an hour 30. Now, if you're going to see a comedian, then a comedian's probably an hour. Um, but... Main artist, she, you go see Beyonce, she's two hours. You know what I'm saying? Jay-Z, hour and a half. Uh, Drake, hour and a half. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, who, who else? J. Cole, hour and a half. Everybody else usually is an hour and a half. And Travis has the catalog to go an hour and a half, too. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, I mean, it, it, it is what it is. At the end of the day, I'm not going to lie, I, I had fun, man. I I, I for sure had fun. And, and uh this was the end of the concert. He, he brought them damn crickets back, but this was it. Everybody was leaving. But yeah, I, I, I think that I had fun. I had fun. You know what I'm saying? Would I would I go again? Ah, uh, it just depends. He would have to perform all his songs. Like I have to know beforehand because I, I I don't want an hour show. You know what I'm saying? So I kind of feel bad for everybody. That, like spent like a lot of money on it because it's like damn, y'all kind of got y'all y'all didn't get the full experience that everybody else got. You know what I'm saying? But it, it is what it, it is what it is. Like I said, I think he just wanted to get back home. I think he just I don't think he wanted to stay. But afterwards there was this truck selling merch. And uh I'll just show you guys like what kind of the prices are around it. So if you guys see me zoom in, fifty five dollars right there, like hundred twenty five for a hoodie. My godfather ended up buying one of them. I ain't I ain't buy that. I'm like, look, bro, I ain't, I, I can't do it. <laughs> I can't do it, man. I can't do it. I know I can write it off, but I can't do it, bro. Um, but yeah, man, I think my, my, if I was to give it a score, I'll probably give it like a seven out of 10. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't, I wasn't mad at the amount. I wasn't mad at the amount that I spent my money on, on those tickets. I wasn't, I wasn't mad at it at all. Uh, I mean, well, like I said, aside from the crickets, like I have my criticisms, you know what I'm saying? I feel like things that probably could have been done a lot better. Um, but end all, end all, the people I was with had fun. I had fun at the same time. Yeah, I think seven out of 10 is fine. Seven out of 10, close to eight out of 10. I said I had a whole bunch of fun. If you guys want to go see it, 
Let me know your guys' thoughts on it down below. Y'all first time finding my channel, hit the subscribe button. Also, like the video, tell me your guys' thoughts, complaint, criticism. Tell it down below. And hey, we will see you guys at the next one. Peace. Put the club up, man.